guys, welcome to part two of the AI tutorial. In this one we're going to be actually applying some more code to our AI in order to make it so it can uh, move around and uh, randomly rotate to a certain direction and move to that spot. And then every couple seconds um, the AI will be choosing a different uh, rotation randomly. So we're just going to jump into our monster code and we're going to create a variable and this will be speed and we'll make this float and then variable is walking and we'll make this boolean and set it to true and then we want to also add a start function in here because we're going to be wanting to call a certain function at the beginning and so we're going to name this random rotation and this will be the code we'll be using to uh, randomly rotate the player around. So do random rotation. And then uh, in here, we're going to include a, or create a uh, while loop. And this will be something that we can use. It's similar to like an endless for loop like we used to use but a while loop is a lot better than that because you can cancel it at any time and not worry about the uh, game crashing because if you were to tr try to stop a for loop when it's um, going through it uh, will keep calling itself and we just want to uh, cut off the code completely so think of this as a for loop but um, while it's true it'll just keep calling itself you don't have to put any fancy numbers or anything like that and it's easy to stop too just by changing is walking to false. But um, if you just put um, the text, it will say that if it's true. And if you want false, you just do equals equals false. And it's that simple. So we'll go in here and we want to do a yield wait for seconds. Because if you didn't have that, your game is going to crash because it'll call it so many times that um, it won't be able to handle it. So you always want a uh, yield wait for seconds and then random.range. And between five and ten. All right, so I have to. Okay, so after this, we're going to want to, I'll just paste the code. But what this does is it chooses a random rotation and it rotates the player anywhere between 0 and 360 degrees to a specific direction. So unlike just normal rotation, this uh, resets your rotation and positions you at that rotation. So if your player was already at 180 and it picked like 200, it would spin it around and it wouldn't be the right rotation. So this just resets everything and it works a lot better that way or else you're going to get issues with your game. Um, and then here in our update, we also want to add this dot transform dot translate. And this will move our character in a certain position. So um, our enemy. So no matter what direction or rotation you're facing, it'll always move, be moving straight um, no matter what. So if you rotated forward, you'd be moving forward. If you rotated um, to like 162 degree angle, um, it would move straight facing that way. And uh, yeah, so we'll do vector three dot forward. And uh, this might have to be different for you guys. Um, since we're just gonna be using a cube, or I'm just gonna be using a cube, um, I don't know exactly where the uh, face would be of the character or any of that information. It's just going to be a box, so it doesn't really matter. I can just use dot forward. You guys will probably have to use something else possibly. So there's always dot back, uh, left, and right. So you might need to change it to one of those. I'm just going to use forward for now. And then we want to times it by speed. And oh, and we'll save that off. 
So this should be all the code that we need to uh, do that. And then what we want to do is you want to go back on your monster and change the speed. I'll change it to uh, 10. One other thing I wanted to do really quick is... I don't know if the uh, spawn... Oh, spawn time would be on there. We'll change this to 5, just so the enemy or monster spawns faster. So we'll just go over here. Whoa, and he is sprinting away like a madman. So let's see. So we need to go back on our monster. We're going to change this to 1. Hopefully he's still not um, too fast. Because I, I want to see him change rotations. So he'll move there. Oh, and he changed his direction. And he, he keeps changing his rotation. So that's a simple way to set that up. Um, if you wanted there to be like, a, like if you have gravity involved, I think it would still work the same way. I, I think it should still work. Um, let me know. Because I know in a lot of MMOs, they walk up hills and different terrain and stuff like that. So, yeah, just let me know. And future tutorials will lock this uh, this enemy into that specific area. So if it exits out of that area, um, it'll start heading back to the center portion of it. So the enemy isn't uh, walking out this far. Because <laughs> it's... Uh, it's going kind of far out there. I don't want my enemy to, to wander out this far. So, yep. See you guys next time.